Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the weekly market report with the Market Guys. I'm AJ Monty. This is a one year daily candle chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. And as I do each and every week, I've left my lines on the chart from last week's market report so you can see just how accurate candle charts are when used as a forecasting tool. And right here, you can see this is the diagonal line that I drew with the end of that line being the target. And right here on Wednesday, that's the 27th, because remember Thanksgiving holiday, the markets were closed, so we had a shortened trading week. And Wednesday, we hit my target precisely. And Friday, as I record this, the day after Thanksgiving, the markets closed early at 1 p.m. And we see a red candle right there so what does that mean for next week well if you'll notice down here at the volume bar you'll see a lower volume that also is because we had a shortened trading day but we did not see a mad rush of buyers coming in today on Black Friday so my forecast for next week is that we're most likely going to go lower right here to fill the gap that we have back here you see that small void on the charts known as a price gap that is going to most likely fill there's an 80 percent chance that that will happen and then if you follow along with our gap fill rules you'll know that 80 percent of the time after a gap fills the prices generally reverse so i think we'll see a bounce at that gap fill point you'll notice down here the stochastics is starting to turn lower it is in an overbought condition right now. The CCI overbought, but today crossed below that 100 mark right there. That's that red horizontal line. That is a sell signal, which is basically supporting my forecast. So that's the diamonds. If we take a look at the SPY. This is the S&P 500 ETF. I've left my lines on this chart as well, and you can see that we hit my target precisely, went even a little bit further over that target. Same scenario, we have a red candle here on lower volume. Stochastics are turning. CCI is turning, but not quite at a sell signal. However, we do have a gap on the spiders as well, so I think they... We'll try to push it down to fill that gap, and I'm going to leave it just like that. We will most likely see a bounce, but I'm going to leave the end of the line with that gap fill as my target right there. So if we look at the VIX, which is inversely related to the S&P, you see that I said we would most likely move lower. Look at that. Isn't this absolutely amazing where the end of the line here is my price target for the VIX. We have hit that precisely. I'm going to erase all lines right now because what we could very well see in the VIX is a slight rally early on because you can see the momentum indicators at the bottom are telling us that we are still moving higher. But I think ultimately the VIX will pull back to fill this gap on the downside. Now don't confuse this with what I said on the other markets because the VIX is inversely related. So ultimately when the VIX pulls back to fill that gap, we could see a market rally. And I'm quite convinced that we're not going to see the end of the highs for this year. I think we're going to set record highs again as we come into the end of this year. That is part of the Santa Claus rally that I've been projecting. And Along the way, we will see pullbacks in some oscillation with these oscillators down here. The CCI and the stochastics are most likely going to continue to move up and down, of course. But the VIX is a leading indicator and it's a contrarian indicator at that. Now let's take a look at the Russell 2000. This is a more broad-based index. I left my lines on the chart. I said we would move up, and we did that. We completely blew away my target right there at the end of that line. But the Russell 2000 has also gapped up. You see, 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we were closed. Friday, we have a red candle bone. On Monday, we gapped up. So we have an open gap on the VIX. I think the VIX is going to pull back initially to fill that gap. We'll have to see whether or not we see a rally after it. I think we will, but I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. It's a more bread-based index. And unlike the Dow and the S&P, this carries a lot more weight. You can see the stochastics is hinging lower. The CCI is moving lower. Not quite a sell signal, but close. Therefore, that is telling us that there is some downward momentum on the Russell 2000. Let's finally look at the Qs, and then we're going to look at OUSA. The Qs is basically the ETF for the NASDAQ market, the tech sector. Look at that. Hit the targets precisely. Hinging, same story. Over and over, the oscillators are heading lower, and we have a very minor gap below the market right there, which I'm going to set as my price target for the Qs. I think we'll continue to hold these lows here because that support level, that gap fill support, will most likely cause the markets to bounce and then go into the rest of our year-end rally. But again, if you have any long positions or stocks that are showing profits at this point, I would strongly recommend you protect those profits and do not attempt to turn winners into losers. That would be a horrible way to end 2019. Finally, OUSA. This is the ETF that I've been tracking. It's a high-yield dividend fund put together by Kevin O'Leary. I said I would track it because it gives a good cross-section of the general markets. We have a bearish engulfing pattern here. We did not hit my target precisely, but came very close. Oscillators are hinging lower. CCI is crossing with a sell signal. And we do have a gap below the market on OUSA as well. Let me highlight that for you right there. There's the horizontal line. I'm going to mark that as my price target. And then I think we'll start to see a bounce on OUSA as well. So that's it for this week's market report. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you see value in it. Please tell your friends about it. The more people that follow technical analysis, the more people we help. And that is the greatest tool for managing risk is the candle charts. And that's my opinion. But the people that are out there that want me to forecast the markets over and over again, while I will do that, I will also stress the importance of managing risk in this market because we are seeing quite a high level of volatility and you don't want to lose any of those profits like i said before we want to protect them so you have a good rest of the weekend and we'll talk to you soon so long this video segment is a small part of what the market guys offer through their educational products and services if you are interested in any of our trade alert services or you would like more information about our one-on-one -on -one mentoring program, simply contact us at info at